Hi, I'm Pastor Will from the Rio Texas Media Center and PastorWill.net. Today we're going to look at how to add images to your homepage gallery on your Squarespace website. If you're using one of our templates from the Squarespace for Churches program, your homepage probably looks a little bit like this, and on it you have this rotating slider gallery of images. These images can be clickable to take people through to more information, or they can just be there to uh, show images. Now, the first thing that we're going to need to do is remember the aspect ratio of the image in your home page gallery. All right. Now on your template, there is a, a style guide. This will go away when your site goes live. It'll still be there, but it'll no longer be on the main navigation. But let's go there for just a moment. <clears throat> and we will see that our home page gallery uh, images should be 1200 pixels by 400 pixels. That is the aspect ratio that we need for that. All right, yours, uh, you could recreate them in a different size. Also, if you put up images that are the wrong aspect ratio, Squarespace does a pretty good job of, uh, of cropping those for you. But we want to start with the right aspect ratio so it looks exactly the way we want it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch out of here and go to Canva. Canva is a free service, uh, and uh, all you got to do is sign up. If you're a local church, you can also sign up for their nonprofit Canva for Teams, which gives you a lot more powerful tools as well. But here we are. You can see I already have a lot of uh, things that have been uh, created on here, but we're going to create a new one, and we're going to use custom dimensions, all right? And the custom dimensions that we want are back here on our style guide, 1200 by 400, all right? 1200 by 400. All right, design, and here we go. Canva's gonna create my canvas right here. Now, let's think about the image that we're gonna use. Say that we've already picked that out. Um, we're gonna upload that image to uh, Canva right now. Go over here to uploads, click upload my own images, and I have put the image that I want right here on the desktop. Okay, so my image is uploaded. Here it is uh, over here. And I'm just going to click this and I'm going to drag it over. Now immediately I have a problem. The problem is that I have all this white space, right? So my image in my gallery page, the aspect ratio makes it so that I'm going to have all this white space. Now is where I have some options. I can do either stretch the image to cover the canvas or I can also put something else on the canvas. Let's start with stretching that image. If I just grab one of these corners here, I can stretch that image so that it fills up the space set by the aspect ratio. Now actually, that works just fine if that's the way I want that, uh, that image. It actually looks good that way. So if I just want it like that, I'm, I'm done. I can uh, download that. I'm gonna wanna download it as a, a JPEG file and click there and Canva is going to produce that image for me and uh, download it. I'm gonna leave that there for a moment and we're gonna do this another way. I'm gonna close this. Now let's say that I don't want to do that to this image. I want this image to be at its own original aspect ratio. Say I really like what the photographer did and I want that much sky and that much grass, I really like that. Well, I can make it its original aspect ratio, but again, I have this empty space over here. Well, that's not necessarily a problem. I can use that empty space. Let's say that I'm putting this image up because it's going to promote an upcoming sermon series, uh, maybe dealing with families, right? It's a beautiful picture for that. Well, here's what I can do. I can go over here to my backgrounds, right? And let's say I want a, I want a black background. And now I can add text. Can either add some uh, plain uh, text here in three sizes, su heading, subheading, and, and body text, or I can get fancy and I can go down here and, and find uh, one of their pre-made uh, image, uh, pre-made text blocks, and I can take this one, for instance, and drag it over here. Now that's uh, it's too big, unless I want it to extend under the image, although that, that's simply that actually looks kind of good right there. I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I can edit the text, and uh, this kind of inspired me uh, to make my new sermon series called You Are Simply... Let's get rid of the... And let's add an L here. You are simply blessed. But let's spell it right. All right. 
So that's the name of my sermon series. Now I can add more text there too if I want to. I think I'm gonna like this better if I just put it over here. And let's say I want some uh, subheading text. I'm gonna drag that over here. Um, sermon series begins January 3rd. I'm not sure if that's a Sunday, but that's fine. Uh, once I have that text on there, I can do all sorts of things to it. I can uh, can change it to a different uh, font. If I want to, any font that I want, I have loaded in there. Uh, let's try that one. I don't like it at all. Let's just go with something pretty plain. And I can also change, uh, I can bold it, I can uh, italicize it, I can uh, center it or have it left or right uh, justified, adjust the text spacing, and uh, I can also change the color right here. Let's go ahead and do that. So there we go. Now I have a different version with that same image, but now with this space allocated for text. Uh, now I'm going to download that one. Again, I'm going to make it a, a JPEG and I'm going to download. Now I have two different versions of uh, that image and now once this uh, downloads, there it is, I'm going to go back to my website here. Now uh, let's go back to the uh, home page where that gallery lives. Now let's remember, I can't change it here. This is just where uh, it gets displayed. It actually lives in my unlinked pages as home page gallery. All right? If I click on that, I can either drag that image over here or I can click here. I'm gonna go now to my downloads folder. That's where mine uh, live and I'm gonna open that one. So there's one version. And while that's uh, uploading, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this one. Okay, now before I leave this page, there's other things that I can do here, including uh, add a link. Covered this in another video, but just as a reminder, um, I can go to options and I can add a click-through URL, which could either be to another page or a file or content on my own page, but say that I had a, a page for that sermon series or it was listed on, for instance, my my worship page, I could click that. And now that will be a clickable link. And let's go ahead and do that other one. Content and worship. Okay, that's done. I can now, I don't have to save anything. That's already done. I can go back here. And uh, it, don't be confused when you first do this that these look a little odd because what you're viewing right now is your actual home page gallery. But no one's ever going to actually see your home page gallery. They are going to see it as it is displayed on your home page. This is the way they're going to see it. So now we can click through and see what those images look like. And there is the first one that we made. Now it'll click through to our worship page. Let's go ahead and click through. And there's this one, beautifully made, and click through, that goes to our worship page as well. That's pretty much it. That's how you add new images using Canva and your homepage gallery on your Squarespace website. Check out the rest of the channel for more how-to tutorials in Squarespace and find more about church technology that can help you reach your community and mission field at riotexas.org media.